and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over a whole bunch of different ideas for intros in Final Cut Pro 10. So this could be like a YouTube intro, a social media intro, or like an intro for um, a hype video. Obviously, you know you wouldn't have your intro, you know, like 20, uh, 25 seconds long. But the objective of this video is to go over a whole bunch of different ideas and just different concepts. The Again, at the end of the day, this video is basically just to give you inspiration and ideas for your own, you know, intro. Again, you're not going to have an intro that's 25 seconds long. But I just want to go over a couple um, different, you know, different looks, different concepts, different ideas. This video is just to get inspiration when it comes to making your own intro, whether that's like, you know, a YouTube intro, the first four or five seconds of a hype video. Hopefully one of these, you know, ideas um, you end up liking. Of course, I have a whole bunch, you know, other videos on different um, effects. But th this video is just a compilation, just a, 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 a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of different um, you know looks and effects so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just go frame by frame and basically just kind of you give a brief overview of how I created each one of these effects again none of these effects are like super complicated but I just want to kind of go over them right here so again I'm just gonna kind of go frame by frame so you can see right here you have this really cool kind of like you know cut out magazine letter effect so you can see right here I'll start at the beginning right here all you're just doing you're just going one two three four five six as you can see right here all you're doing right here is you're just going to one two three right here as you see right here all you're just doing is going every frame so you're going like this so every frame a new letter pops up and then boom the bottom letter pops up or bottom word pops up as you can see there we go it's as simple as that it's basically just every other frame right here the you know magazine or cut out letters um show up right here so head to the next one right here and all you have right here is just photos popping up right here. So it'll go one, two, three, four right here. You have photo pop up right here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six right here. And another photo right there. It's basically just you know photos popping up right here. Now I'm gonna head up to the next one right here. Now this effect right here, basically what I did right here was I did I basically took so I'll go ahead and click on shift um command G right here. All I did was I took the so if I click on right here, wait for it to you know, render a little bit. But if I go to the effects panel right here, all I basically did right here was I took the frame rate effect right here. So I basically just took the frame rate effect right here. And basically what that did is I, the frame changed every five seconds right here. So as you can see right here, it creates kind of this really cool stop motion effect. So every like four or five frames, it changes. So again, it creates this really cool kind of stop motion effect. And I basically just kind of did like an, uh, an, a cutout right there. So I didn't cut out the you know him precisely but just kind of a really cool look right here and this effect right here all it is is just like a mirror and a kaleidoscope but instead of so you see right here I'll take away the, the top layer right here it's just like a normal you know kaleidoscope mirror effect right here but all I did right here was I put, I put the same clip copied it again and I just cropped it out right here so it kind of creates a really um, kind of unique look um, right there rather than just having a mirror effect so head over to the next one right here so I'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine as you see right here it just pops up right here and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it just kind of creates this really cool um kind of stacking effect right here now i have the next one right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right here and then all you just have is just this little uh, effect right here where i just took the effect moved it over and then just cropped it out right here and that's pretty much um it right there you know very that that one is you know more simple than some of the other ones as you can see right here all I have right here, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It just pops up right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it just kind of creates this really cool um, uh, photo collage right here. So head over to this one right here. And all this is right here is just you look a frame opening effect right here. It just opens up and shows um, these two photos um, right there. And you know, it's a, it's a pretty simple. Um, an easy one. So as you can see right here, here is just a photo of AJ Green right here. And then instead of having this, you know, pop up, I actually kind of have like a, instead of just having the pop on screen, I have like a pop in freeze from effect right here. So you can see here, all it does is it just zooms in into place right here. Instead of just having a pop on screen, I have a kind of like keyframe, which is keyframed um, the scale right here. And then right here, all I have is a texture appear right here 
with the image of AJ Green um, shrinking um, right there and then I had the text kind of uh, go up uh, right there and as you can see right here just have photo pop up right here so go one two three four five right here one two three uh, then right here one two three four right here so basically like every like three four five frames i just have a photo pop up um, right there you can obviously you know have as many photos as you want and then this effect right here so go one two right here one two one two and then i'll go like this so one two one two one two right here and then you, you basically just have it pop up into full screen and instead of having it key frame or animate i just kind of have like a, a harsh jump cut so it creates a very you know, interesting look right here now I'll go to this one right here so i'll go right here so the middle one right here so i'll go like this so i'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten see so the left one pop up now i had to cut it right here because i actually had to adjust the crop of the middle one in a second as you can see right here this is not cut up, but it will be in a second. So I go over here. So I'm going to go to the left right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The right one pops up. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As you can see, the left one disappears. And the middle clip on the left side is cropped right here. So then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's kind of just like a, a reveal shot. Um, right there so you can see right here now head over to this one right here this is basically just you know, like a very you know, simple effect right here it's just a photo collage effect and then all I did was I just keyframe the position right here so it just moved over into position right here it's a pretty simple one um, right there so I'm going to head over to this one this one is a little more complicated than the other ones so I click on the photo right here as you can see here is the draw mask right here and then what I did was I keyframe the control points I did this before with like the comic freeze frame effect I used the same concept so I'll go with this so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that's pretty much it um, right there I do the draw mask right here to reveal the shot now what I did here was I took a shape mask right here and then I just keyframe the shape mask um, right here I believe I keyframe the scale so yeah as you can see I keyframe the scale right here so I'll go like this so I'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, as you can see, there you go. Now, obviously, you don't have to have it coming from the center. You could have it coming in from the corners. You could have it coming in from the offset. It doesn't really matter um, right there. It just depends on the look um, that you want to um, accomplish right there. And as you can see right here, I just have this really cool kind of um, zoom sequence effect right here. So basically, it lasts th uh, three frames. So I'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one two three one two three and so on and so forth and basically we'll just keyframe the scale up to 200 um, percent right there and that you know that's pretty simple right there it uh, adds a motion blur it's this really cool kind of zoom sequence effect right here so now let's go to the next one right here which is kind of this text uh repeater effect right here so you can see it pops up on screen right here now what i did was i went one two three the next one pops up one two three the next one pops up and then one two three 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 and then one two three right here and that's pretty much it so i'll go ahead and just open it up um right here so you can see that's what it looks like the text effect looks like right there basically just think of it in three frames so each one pops up every three frames and then it fills in the outline every three frames and you know you can adjust the duration uh so on and so forth you know to get the look um that you want right there and that's pretty much it right here. That's pretty much this really cool kind of, you know, kind of a whole bunch of different intro ideas. Again, this is kind of like a compilation, like a hodgepodge of a whole bunch of different, you know, effects and different looks you could create for your intro. Instead of just, you know, making a, like a six second intro, I can want to go over a whole bunch of different concepts and ideas. Um, for your edit, and that's pretty much it right here. So it's just a whole bunch of really, really cool uh, effects. Here. Also, I forgot to mention on here, I actually added an RGB shake effect just to have the text move a little bit right there, and that's pretty much it. Remember, the text comes on every um, frame right there. So you can see right here, that's pretty much it. That's this really cool kind of idea right here. So it just creates a whole bunch, just a whole bunch of different ideas um, for your intro. Hopefully, what, hopefully you like one of these. Maybe you 
don't like any of them. But I just want to kind of go over a whole bunch of different ideas. And again, hopefully you liked one of them, but hey, maybe you didn't like any of them at all. Uh, it was just kind of a really cool idea. I just want to kind of show, show you a whole bunch of different ideas. Remember, you can just use that, uh, that draw mask right there and the shape mask to create that circle um, transition right there. And then that's pretty much it. It's a really cool, you know, a whole bunch of really cool effects. Again, I'll say, you know, again and again, hopefully you like it. Um, you know, I definitely did work pretty hard trying to get this um, done. So I'd love to hear uh, feedback, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you know, leave feedback in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. If you want to watch more tutorials on Final Cut or more effects, or you get more ideas, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.